Yes, my name is Elizabeth Benson, doing a presentation to you. My title is Haban Highway Traffic Modeling Using Eden Markov Model. Uh, my research is based here in Kenya, and we have a challenge of road traffic uh, in our country. Uh, as you can see on the photo, we have uh, an issue of traffic. So I'm a PhD student at Jomo Kenyatta University. What is the problem? What is the challenge? Uh, we have people who have done this research or have tried to come with applications to solve the problem. We have the Google Maps. Uh, someone can use the Google Map maybe to predict road traffic, but there is a problem with the hub. And the problem we have is uh, we have so many smaller feeder roads joining the highways added to the city. So when we create these smaller, smaller roads joining the highways, they are not updated to the Google Maps uh, instantly. So what happens is uh, users are likely to be caught up in the traffic and wrong prediction are likely to occur. Then we have another, uh, a local hub made by the name Matri. So this hub works. All drivers online are able to post um, the, the, the condition of the traffic on the roads. So other users are able to check on the hub and, and, and see how roads are congested. But there is a problem with this hub because not every driver is online. So we have so few drivers online, so we are likely to have not enough data to also make predictions. So finally, we have uh, a third application, which was done by IBM here in Kenya. The hub is uh, by the name 2020 application. So when they created this hub, they made uh, an advert that a research, research is required for people maybe to look for huge data sets, and then now they can, they can test the hub. So it's out of that advert, then I created some curiosity to come up with my work. Now, uh, we got our data from Kenya Harbour Roads Authority, and the data spans, it's, it's really a huge data, but I, 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 I decided to just extract data from the year 2014 to 2017. And then now, where is the data collected? The government has installed uh, speedy cameras on our roads. I, I, I noted a, a, a key field in that data by the name diameter. So the diameter is the distance in between vehicles. So when I noticed that the, we can really get the di distance in between vehicles, and I said, okay, yeah, then we can do predictions and try to see. This is the distance in between vehicles. We have the vehicle speed, so we can do some modeling and try to predict um, whether there will be traffic or not. Yes, so... My work entails uh, road traffic jump prediction using Eden Markov theory. So uh, Eden Markov theory is a class of probabilistic graphical model which allows us to do a prediction of a sequence of unknown Eden variables from a set of ob observed variables. In our case here, we are going to utilize Eden Markov model to predict road traffic state. Road traffic state is the Eden state, is what we do not know. But we have some observations which we know, which are the vehicle speed. Yes, as you can see as per that diagram. Okay. All right. So we have our, 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 our results. There's something I needed to explain shortly, but let me not do it. So we... Let me see. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, before this slide, there's something I needed to explain about the hidden states, which is the road traffic condition. We have done it in three classification. Uh, one of, the, of it is maybe we have free-flowing traffic, maybe traffic jam and highly congested. That is what is hidden. We don't know the traffic status, but we have the observed states, which is vehicle speeds, which the data is providing. So we can do some modeling and predictions. Then our results are here. We found out that uh, six in the evening to 8 p.m. in the evening, that is on a normal working day, there's likely to be the highest traffic jam. Mm -hmm.